Education Galaxy presents Solve Percent Problems. Today we're going to join Coach Hibbets and explore how to solve percent problems using proportions. We'll learn how to find the percent, the part, and the total. Welcome to our training camp on percents. I'm Coach Hibbets and this is my assistant, Coach Flores. Remember, percent means per hundred. We're going to use proportions to solve percent problems, and to make it easy, we'll use this graphic organizer to set up our proportions. The ratio will always be part to total, and since we're working with percents, the bottom right number in the graphic organizer will always be 100. All right, players, gather around and listen to our strategy to hit a home run with percents. Number one, read the problem. Number two, Draw your graphic organizer and write 100 in the bottom right box. Number three, write the labels. Number four, write the other two numbers in the correct spot. Number five, simplify one of the ratios if possible. And finally, number six, solve the proportion. Mandy, you're up. Here's our strategy and here's your problem. 64% of the fans at the first game of the Galactic Baseball Tournament were rooting for the Space Titans. If there were 350 fans at the game, how many were rooting for the Space Titans? Uh, uh, you can do it, Mandy. I'll talk you through it. First, draw your graphic organizer. Write 100 in the bottom right box. Next, look at the problem and write your labels. That's good. Space Titan fans over total fans. Now, figure out where the other two numbers go. That's right, the 64 is a percent, so it goes on top of the 100. The 350 is total, so it goes in the bottom, and X is our numerator. Now look at your proportion, Mandy. Can you simplify one of the ratios? That's right, since 64 and 100 are even, you can divide them by two, and our resulting proportion is X over 350 equals 32 over 50. Now think. 50 times what is 350? That's right, it's seven. Do the same thing to the numerator and you'll have your answer. Woohoo, that's right, Mandy. There were 224 fans at the game rooting for the Space Titans. You just hit a home run. Alex, you're up. Here's your problem. 195 of the players who participated in the Galactic Baseball League this year were boys and 130 of the players were girls. What percent of the players in the Galactic Baseball League this year were boys? Great start. You drew your graphic organizer and wrote 100 in the bottom right box. What about your labels? Yes, they're boys to total players. Now you need to fill in your proportion. Since we're looking for the percent, X does go on top of the 100. Yes, the 195 is the boys. Excellent, you added the boys and girls to get the total. Both numbers in this first ratio end in five, so we should be able to simplify, but what does it simplify to? That's right, Alex, it simplifies to 3 fifths. Now think, five times what is 100? That's right, it's 20. Do the same thing to the numerator and you'll have your answer. Yes, 60% of the players who participated in the Galactic Baseball League this year were boys. Way to go, Alex, you just hit a home run. Maria, you're up. Here's your problem. Coach Flores bought a pitching machine at Sports Supply that was marked 15% off the regular price. The discount was $27. What was the regular price of the pitching machine? Great start. Now your labels. Excellent. Discount over regular price. Now fill in your numbers. Yes, the 15 is a percent, so it goes on top of the 100. The 27 is the discount, so it goes in the numerator, and X goes in our denominator. Super Maria. We can simplify the second ratio by dividing by 5, and our proportion is now 27 over x equals 3 over 20. Now think, 3 times what is 27? That's right, Maria, it's 9. Do the same thing to the denominator, and you'll have your answer. 
Woohoo! That's right, Maria. The regular price of the pitching machine was $180. You just hit a home run. Thanks for joining us at our training camp for percents. Remember, if you use this graphic organizer, you can hit a home run with percents too.